What's going on, boys? I uh, picked up some stuff. Got it set away right now. Nice little solder station. Uh, pick up some of that brass wool. All it came with is this sponge. But. It's not plugged in. Um, going to attempt to get some bullet connectors onto the end of these and as you might see, yeah, didn't realize I wasn't saunting. I didn't realize you know, I, there was like a cap that I can solder directly to, so not only can I solder away from the motor, which is fucking amazing, uh, I can maybe, maybe do test fire. Got this boy set up charging. It's actually pretty sweet. The first charge it did on this little battery was like three minutes long. And I was able to get this powered up. All I got right now is steering. I haven't got it to fire yet, but we're gonna try. Forgot to mention. Pretty sweet. Picked up some some stickies. Got the stickies. Yeah. But yeah. Back to it. Okay, that was way too hard to do it one-handed. I don't know how some of you guys do that shit. Anyway. Haven't fully shrink-wrapped it yet. Just had it hidden for testing purposes. But... My first solder joint ever in my life. I... Didn't even really practice. I just tinned the iron, cleaned and tinned the wire, cleaned and tinned the piece, heated the piece, soldered them together, and came out nice and shiny. From what I've seen on YouTube, that's what you're supposed to do. I'll show you. Oh. Rep. Let's see here. Here's the second one. I think turned out better, being that it's straight. I feel like I need to add another ball around there. Let me know in the comments what you think. This one, like I said, is a little came out a little lopsided, but the whole point. that go nice into the battery like so oh, tweak the motor go in the battery like so get the heat shrink buttoned up and yeah pretty stoked boys got this guy at Hobby Hut from Brian told me just to Make sure I set this about in the middle, tin the crap out of it, and then when I go to actually do my soldering, set it to about 750, and get in and out. That's what I did. So, thanks man. With that 750 number you told me, that's, that saved me. I was, I was probably going to be like, quarter chooch, and... Turns out I needed to be about three quarter chooch. So another thing I noticed about the motor, it's got these guys on it. They just click in there like that. Gonna cut the ends of these guys. 
solder them nice into there, shrink wrap it, have nice little quick connects. Yeah, that's for tomorrow. It's time for bed. In the garage again. Just wrapping this guy up. This is my third solder joint. Not sure if it's much good, but wires all the way in there. So I think they want it sideways, but I just got the whole wire in there and gave her a lot of heat. Plastic started to actually get a little toasty, <laughs> but I've never done this before, so set you up so you can watch me maybe fail the next one. cracking. They look pretty shiny. Hopefully they come sure. This is what I'm, Thomas already knows, but this is what they're going into. This is what I'm soldering here. walking movement. Oh yeah, she good. She's good boys. We did it. Thank you Thomas. Thank you Brian. You guys are awesome. We fucking did it. I don't think they look too bad. Let me know in the comments. Live boys. Alrighty boys, to round this one out, go for a little test rip in semi full trim. Got the engine and turbo zip tied on, you know, the best way.
Holy crap, boys. We just got the hugest airdrop from Thomas over at Always Broke RC Club. Uh, this is just one of many. Nitro. It's got an electric start onto it. Little plug wire. Yeah. Holy frig. A toolbox. Yeah. A whole frickin' toolbox. Full. Yeah. Frickin' frickin' full. I gotta, like, go through all of it. Like, got all that. Yep. Um. Kind of still freaking out. Came with a body. Thinking. Thinking. I'm liking that that wing there. Stealing that for what just came in today. Hell yes. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit the no prep car. I guess we all we all knew that was gonna happen, right? But uh I tried. This guy did come with this aftermarket muffler. Apparently this is a larger engine for it. I forget exactly what Thomas said it was. There's just so much. So much to take in. He even gave me a brand new fucking magnet tray. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. I didn't know anything about RC cars a month ago. And now, almost forgot all the batteries. <laughs> Full set of wheels and tires. Another radio. Just a bunch of batteries. Charger. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Thank you, Thomas. We even got some fucking six stickers. Yeah. I'm stoked, boys. I'm going to wrap this one up and go through all this, and I'll get you another update. Probably next Friday or something. Cheech it. I love how easy these things are to take apart. Well, hooked up on that, but yeah. <laughs> like two minutes later. Thanks also and help by Thomas with the fucking engine lift. The fucking RC lift. Oh my god. This shit's fucking awesome. Just taking a look at the engine real quick. Let's see if I can do this one handed. She ain't stuck. Can't probably see it, but. She's not stuck, man. So. We got ourselves another clutch. This one's got the newer style actual carburetor on it. It's all gunky, but it'll soak for a week before I ever use it. It's got the nice starter on it. See if we can make that work on the road tray. You know. Yeah. This engine. Keep calling it an engine stand. RC lift is fucking sweet. Back at it. Alright, so further dive. Found the battery pack underneath here. Just freaking sweet because this right here, my friends. Is an entire starting and ignition system for a nitro car. Like, 
flip switch to, st to light and you fucking smoke some cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Are you saunting right now? Shit's moving so fast. And it freaking lights, boys. It freaking lights. It freaking lights. Just doing a little going through this right now before I head to bed. Yeah. See this right here, boys? This screw is on back order. Really, really hard to find. You know what this screw is for? Well, what it came out of and is in this bin for, I have no freaking clue. But that, my friends, is the exact screw I needed for the rotor stationary gear that sits on the back of the rotor. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Not only that, what we got, what I believe is, where did it go? I believe this is the Y splitter. I'm going to need to run the throttle on the electric no prep car with the rotary engine as the sound, as its voice. Where else? Where the other one? There's so much in here, it's ridiculous. You know, if we need it. Servo linkage rods. Alright, so just got all this wired up. Cleaned up the receiver a little bit that came out of this guy. See if we can't. Oh shit, boys. Here we go. We got the steering. Steering out of this boy. But, let's see. Oh shit, boys. That's a, that's a throttle, boys. Look at that. Oh yeah. This shit is going down. All that running off of this old ass battery pack. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Thomas. Oh my god. This is insane. This is. Crap, 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 crap. This is the engine that came off of that. Nitro, rear wheel drive, Traxxas. So I was out here dicking around and just got this sitting here. For some reason it just sits there perfectly. Just stuck into the crank, I flipped that little bearing around and We have a uh, starter motor. Quick update before I head in for dinner. Um, got the no prep car changed over to the Rambler, or Rustler, or whatever Nitro chassis, Traxxas chassis it was. It is no longer that, so. Not too sure exactly what it was. It was like a rustler or a rambler. My buddy Ryan told me. I think the ESC should do good there. Put the motor in there. Somewhere in there. I'm gonna have to sort something out for a body. Because, yeah, my bodies don't fit. Uh, that's about it. Bench is a mess. 
Thanks again, Thomas. Like, I found so much in that that I needed tonight. It's ridiculous. I am changed over to direct steer. Oh, well, yeah. The direct steer's onto it. Everything's looking pretty good. Gonna build. I got some sheets of aluminum. A little too thick. Thicker than I wanted. Cigarette for sick ale. But it should make it nice and sturdy. Go off those four. Bring it up. And mount the engine to that. We'll also mount this guy off of that. Something onto there like that. And this fuel tank will go in there like that. I'll probably run it this way but actually well yeah we're gonna have to run it that way fuel lines will be fun i did get some like heat shielding for the fuel lines off of this old nitro so that'll be sweet it has cool little exhaust pipe onto it but yeah about all I got for today. The car lift is amazing. Again, thank you, Thomas. Hit up always broke. You got all the knowledge. Helped me out a lot. Till the next one, choo chit.